Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it's a Pike and Shot Firelock Storming Party for my English Civil War. Uh, in this box you get 18 multi-pose hard plastic and a couple metal figure flintlock miniatures. And here's what they look like when they're all put together, which is, and painted. Somebody did a great job on those. Uh, in this box it's 16 hard plastic musketeers with firelocks. You get two metal miniatures, which are representing the captain and the drummer. It includes plastic bases, which is always good, and a background and painting guide, which is fantastic because it gives you a lot of information um, without having to do a ton of research. Um, you can do, you just get a kind of an overview of what exactly they did and what their purpose was on the battlefield. So that's always good, especially for somebody who doesn't know anything about English Civil War. It's a good overview. So, But here's what's in the box. So... First thing I want to point out is their lovely uh, pamphlet or and, and, uh, painting guide and information guide. So it has a little bit more information than your box had um, on the front here, plus the box art. Um, and a little bit more information, a nice little story here about on the royal side. Um, and then it has some examples of what they look like painted with some colors. So this musketeer is painted to represent one of the Prince Rupert's or Prince Maurice's red coated firelocks that formed storming parties at the various sieges around Britain. So I have two uh, storming parties and one of them is going to be Prince Rupert's firelocks and the other one's going to be Maurice's. Uh, I am going to use these hats uh, in this, in this build. So, and a nice little Parliamentarian Firelock Company prepares to see off an attack on their artillery train by Royalist Cavalry. Kind of set up there, spread out. So, all right. So, this is what's in the box. We got that pamphlet. We got 16 individual sprues with some uh, Firelock musketeers on them. They do have two options for arms for different poses, two options for hats, which is awesome because once you use the the one fire lock um the other one will be available in case you got a uh, another miniature without a weapon and of course the hats so hang on to the one when you're done also the captain and the drummer right here this is the captain beautiful models very nice sculpts very little flash too which is great that's the my least favorite part of building things is cutting off flash. So, and I always enjoy one piece drummers, the metal drummers. I prefer them over the plastic drummers for sure. Um, because no matter what it, what happens, all the plastic drummers, you always have to fill some sort of gap because they're meant to be either or a flute player or a drummer or something like that. Um, but I like, I like this because you won't have to fill any gaps. It's all one piece and it's solid. So, uh, that's them. Also, it comes with a, a sheet of bases, which is the standard Pike and Shot uh, Hail Caesar 40 by 40s and some singles, um, some single bases. And you have this one here that's about this width, and these are half the width there. So, um, but uh, being a storming party, you, you, they're kind of designed to be a little more skirmish. So putting them on single bases is better. That's what I did with my last unit. So this unit, I'm actually going to be putting them on the 4040s, I think. Uh, but I'm not going to base them until I've finished painting all of them completely. So, Because if I am going to do them all on the 40 by 40s if I put them on the glue them on the base now, they're just going to be scrunched together. And they're going to be hard to paint. So... But uh, it's always good to get extra bases, even if you use or don't use them. It's awesome that they include that in a box. So that's in the box. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what the tools I normally use to build things. Then I'm going to build these in, in, in its entirety and then come back and give you guys some tips and tricks and tell you what, I, what to do and what not to do and what to avoid and things of that nature. So I'll be back in a sec.
All right, there you have it. There is the Firelock storming party for my Pike and Shot English Civil War. Uh, they <laughs> super simple to put together. Um, they're real easy. It's got a full body with legs, torso, head, and everything. And the only thing you got to cut out is the different Firelocks with their arms and uh, their hat. Whether you want the floppy hat, the musketeer hat, or this hat right here. Let me see if it'll focus. There we go. So I chose these hats. Um, live camera. Why in the world is my camera having trouble? There we go. Interesting. So let me zoom in. Maybe that's the problem. There we go. There it is. So, and the, the guns you can put in different positions. Uh, what I'd recommend is putting these weapons on. They attach the arms, as you can see here. There's a um, where they attach, where the gaps are and everything. That's easily fixed with some liquid green stuff. Um, or uh, you can use some modeling um, uh, filler putty, uh, plastic putty from Vallejo, which is no problem at all whatsoever. Uh, but, they, uh, you know, the hats and the arms, that's it. Real simple kit. They're pretty awesome. And these guys, of course, they had some flash uh, on them, but I cut off the flash near the leg. Um, I got to fix the bent pistol um, for him. And I put him on a single base because these, the captain, no matter what, the captain and the uh, musician are going to be on single bases. And these aren't glued to bases, as you can see in the picture here. Um, the reason for that is, is, I am going to paint them before I put them on a base and they're going to be individually based. I, I'm going to do them on 20 mil or 25 mil squares so I can move them around and spread them out, um, which I do have some. And those 40 by 40s I can use on other stuff uh, for my uh, pike and shot and, and things of that nature. I'll just add them to the extra base pile. So, uh, but if not, if you don't have that extra base pile, I'd recommend putting your captain and your musician on single bases or a double base like this. Or you can add them onto one of your uh, 40 by 40 uh, bases with a couple other guys, if you prefer. Um, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of different things and trying a lot of different things in my uh, Pike and Shot games and my English Civil War games with these guys. So that's why I'm going to individually base them. Now I have two units of them. Uh, I have one unit that's already put together and they're on single bases and I was going to do this one on the big 40s together uh, But I decided to leave them separate. It also makes it look, you know, uh, a little bit more dynamic uh, when the storming parties Are in a position like this here as you can see they're kind of in wagons spread out and things like that It makes it more dynamic. It makes it more of a diorama and uh, more realistic or you're going for that immersion so uh, but I would recommend if you're going to build the storming party um, I would recommend putting them on individual bases for that reason but they'll look just as good either way so but uh, but yeah that's it that's all I got for you guys tonight uh, if you haven't subscribed please do please tell a friend please spread the word I'd really appreciate that hop over to Facebook and give my Facebook group a, 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 a join my Facebook group it's on Facebook. It's called Rocky's War Room Group. Uh, do that. I really appreciate it. Leave me some comments. Like this video. And last but not least, from me to you. Ta-ta! And I'll catch you in my next video.